Hi there. One of the big aspects of the debate over living standards is the extent to which uh, the figure for a particular country in terms of income per head, income per capita or disposable income, for example, uh, hides regional variations. It's particularly the case for the UK. So we're going to take a look at some regional differences in disposable income and also show you how you convert into index number format. Quick reminder that disposable income is the amount of money that all of the individuals in a household have available for spending or for saving after um, taxes, social, social security uh, benefits, etc. have, have had their effect. Now this table shows gross uh, disposable household income per head 2015 for the UK and then for constituent countries. You can see that England had the highest gross disposable household income of the four countries. Indeed, within that, London had a disposable income of £23,000 per head, whereas Northern Ireland, it was down at 14645 So quite significant variations there, as you can see. We can express this data in pounds, or we can convert the data into index number format, and I've done that for you here. We take the level of disposable income in the UK as our base for the index, and the base index always has a value of 100. And then we simply convert the data for England, 18315 divided by 17965, and you get an index number for England of 101.9. And you can see that the UK, uh, in terms of England, England's always clearly, clearly ahead there. It's easy to say, of course, that Northern Ireland has a, a level of gross disposable income about 20% below the UK average. Another way of looking at it is to think about the total share of household disposable income. This is quite revealing. In 2015, 86% of all household income went to people living in, Eng in England, uh, nearly 8% in Scotland, 4% in Wales, and just 2% went to people living in Northern Ireland. A reflection of the, of the difference in the size of the economies, as well as household spending power between the four countries. So this is an important aspect of the, of the debate over living standards.